Hello and welcome to this week's uh, weekly update on everything. Um, we'll begin with uh, foreign exchange. So dollar index uh, closed above three up. Um, 92.01 is the support, uh, nothing till 94.21. Euro dollar didn't quite reach 119.20. Uh, had a negative signal on Monday. Uh, and we've broken the short term support, which is at 117.73. But uh, it's got to take out uh, those recent lows um, to accelerate down and target 114.95. Cable. Um, end of the uptrend there with the diamonds. Uh, we can rotate down to 137.86. Dollar yen um, held that daily support, uh, got a triple buy signal, and it's gone up to 110.33. So it's hit its upside target. Daily close above there, and then we've got 111.71 and a half. Aussie dollar remains. Uh, in a sideways pattern um, had negatives and positives the latest one was a negative um, but it's got to take out that low uh, from the end of July to start off another downward leg and that would target 69.91 Kiwi uh, negative on Friday but we've got that massive zone of support which held before um, there is no reason to be long um, but it's going to have to take out those lows um, and then there would be no support dollar CAD uh, positive on Monday um, but pretty quiet really um, note that a weekly resistance can kind of come down from all the way from 146.69 to 128.07 Euro pound, um, oh, there we go. It's come down to that massive support um, at 84.71. So just a couple of ticks below there. So no pattern as yet. Um, if we do make a daily close below there, um, it would be negative. But uh, we know that the euro pound is notorious for making false breaks. So be a little bit careful there. OK, uh, let's move on to indexes. So, um, so I think it's Thursday or Friday next week. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks very much, yeah.